Now to new information on this hand sanitizer fueled inferno that burned a Chickasha warehouse. The state fire marshal appears to be one step closer now to pinpointing the cause. News Force Caitlin Ogle has the new developments for us. Katie? Well, state fire marshals say they believe someone had something to do with starting it. It could have been on purpose or it could have been completely by accident. People do careless things all the time. State fire marshals slowly inching towards the cause of this Chickasha facility fire. Investigators say it was fueled by thousands of illegally stored hand sanitizer. DEQ documents show the owner, Brandon Boardwine of Boardwine Development, told them the product was, quote, from China and Mexico and cannot be shipped back. And that they had, quote, a contract to store and recycle the hand sanitizer shipped in from California and Texas. State fire marshals were called in to determine the cause. They've ruled out electrical problems and spontaneous combustion. Now, we had no indication that someone intentionally set the fire. We just know someone did something. Could have been a careless act. Uh, could have been an accident. They may not have even known they did it. James Fullingham says it could have been from cigarettes, a burning candle, or even oily rags, but they're still investigating. So there are a lot of people that need to be interviewed. Meanwhile, there have been other hand sanitizer fueled fires in Texas and in Canada, all happening around the same time. Fire marshals and the DEQ are aware. We don't have jurisdiction outside of the state of Oklahoma, so we that wouldn't be something we could investigate. Okay. But we do have our federal partners that you know we uh, we share information with as well. We have been in communication with them, and I believe they have opened their cases back up. Right now, there's no timetable on how long the investigation will take. The fire marshal adds it may even be labeled as undetermined, which he says is the most commonly listed causes of fires. We also called the attorney representing Boardwine, but we did not hear back.